that. Let's move on to Jorge Masvidal. Game Bread comes in six days' notice to save the day for UFC 251 this coming weekend. Look, Burns against Usman was boring, boring, boring. I got, it's great to come back and see Kamara Usman fight, but nobody wanted to watch him fight against Burns. They wanted to watch him fight against Jorge Masvidal. And instead, they gave us Burns. Burns, for whatever reason, couldn't make the trip over to Fight Island. So then they call up Game Bread, and they figure this thing out. He signs a new multi-fight contract. He gets all the stuff that, not everything that he wanted, he said in his interviews, but he got most of it, which made him happy. And now he has been training this whole time. And now, interesting thing about this, he said he has to lose 20 pounds in six days for this fight to go down. Well, I guess in five days for this thing to go down. But I think he's going to get it done. I, I'm not going to give a preview yet. We'll, we'll talk about this Wednesday. You're hosting the show solo on Thursday and Friday, so we'll do a little, uh, a little preview on Wednesday night. But, whoo, this is a massive, massive fight. These two, for anybody that doesn't watch a whole lot of UFC, these two got into it on Radio Row down at the Super Bowl. They have been at each other's throats. Yep. For months and months and months, and they are insanely entertaining fighters. This is going to be a fight that you do not want to miss. This pay-per-view with Jorge Masvidal coming back in and, and jumping on this one, it's going to boost it 400000 It should. I, it should. It should be awesome. And then the, re, the reviews on any other platform where you can find it are going to be massive. It's going to be insane. UFC needed this done. They needed Masvidal back in. Uh, Damian jumps in and says, Masvidal needs to fight Nate Diaz again. Look, after this, that there's no risk in this. You come no. in and you save a fight. You sell a bunch of pay-per-views. You make a bunch of money. It doesn't matter if you win or lose one way or the other. You came in on short notice to fight for a belt. If you lose, that's fine. You came in on short notice. If you win, even better. And Trying then you to get to fight. 20 pounds in, in that short of a span and, and have strength. It's tough. It's going to be tough. That's it, yeah. going to be that's going to be tough. It's tough, but these these dudes do it a lot. So I know they do. Oh no, they know yeah. they know what they're doing. They know how to cut weight, but it's not it's not what you want, okay? If you want to be really yeah. strong and you want to be peaking. No, you're uh, you're right, but if, th- if this you guy's a normal fight camp, yeah. you'd be peaking right about that point at that weight. And now Now that's going, uh, that's what he says he's been doing. He's he's been having a normal fight camp. He hasn't been doing that to try to get to this weight though. No, no, nobody's probably, trying to cut twenty pounds in a week. No, you're probably right about that. But it, this is even still, this is a fantastic development. I am so excited about this. He is he was the fighter of the year last year. Yeah. Just bottom line, his his fastest knockout in UFC history against Ben Askren, his BMF title against Nate Diaz, uh, knocking out till. Like, he is, and he's been doing this for 17 years. Like, he is at the height of his popularity right now. And this is the perfect fight to make. Give him a shot at the belt. Let's go out and get this thing done. I can't wait for it. I absolutely cannot wait. This is going to be incredibly entertaining television. So, on Saturday night, we'll get to watch something that's actually worth watching. There you go. And there's two other championship fights as well. Jose Aldo is coming back. You know, you got you got a bunch of other stuff going on. It's going to be a good time. 